And a new report out today shows the public health impact from cross-border contamination extends far further than beach closures. And the report highlights the toxic chemicals and microbes that are not only in the water, but also in the air and the soil as well. Our Misha Bono breaks down the data and the new push for more federal funding. Misha. Yeah, hi, good evening. This report is not new information. It's a compilation of a lot of data collected over the last few years to be used as evidence to show our leaders in Washington just how dire the situation is here and to be able to tap into funding. I think I've described the cross-border sewage flows from Mexico into the United States as one of the biggest environmental catastrophes in the Western Hemisphere. A new report released by SDSU's School of Public Health Researchers finds an escalating and dangerous public health crisis due to the Tijuana River contamination flowing from Mexico into San Diego. We're getting visits in clinics and emergency rooms. Congressman Scott Peters asked for the report, which is a compilation of more than 60 previous studies. It's a way to build a case for more federal funding. The most significant finding is direct risk of exposure to the public through the skin, breathing, and ingesting. Bacterial infections, viral infections, parasitic infections, all of these are as a result of exposure. The report was commissioned by the Presby Foundation and shows how toxic chemicals and microbes in the raw, untreated sewage, industrial waste, and urban runoff, once thought to stay just in the water, can also be airborne and remain in the soil, which could have a much larger and farther reaching health consequence. Pathogens including salmonella, vibrio, strep, listeria, Hepatitis. Imperial Beach's Mayor Paloma Aguirre, who's been fighting this issue for decades, sees the problem worsening with climate change and the presumption of continuing atmospheric rainstorms. IB has seen more than 700 consecutive days of beach closures. Tropical storm Hillary brought 3 billion gallons of sewage tainted water to our coast. The January 22nd storm brought 14.5 billion gallons of toxic sewage and chemicals contaminating our air in our coastal waters. $300 million is already set aside to repair the wastewater treatment plant in the South Bay, but that's not nearly enough. According to Peters, the total cost is roughly $650 million. We really need to get Congress to approve this money. So it's important to gather evidence that really drives home the severity of this problem, and we know people are getting sick. Yeah, we know that people certainly are getting sick. The next opportunity for funding from the federal government comes in March. From San Diego, Misha Bono, Fox 5 News. All right, Misha, thank you.